Today on Logan Lee Adventures. From Da Nang to Hoi An, my boyfriend Yuri and I are exploring another gem of Vietnam's central coast. It's a Vietnamese town that shimmers in gold from the yellow of its architecture that is influenced by Japanese, Chinese, and the colonial French. Yellow, the color of honey, sun drops, summer, and Hoi An. Traditional Vietnamese cooking is renowned for its fresh ingredients and the minimum use of oil it relies mainly on fresh herbs and vegetables and is considered one of the healthiest cuisines in the world. The dishes of Hoi An certainly packs this punch. So the first thing we're doing right away in Hoi An is, you guess it, is hitting up the central market with this grand food hall and chowing down. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. And I just said, yeah, very delicious. <laughs> this dish only costs a dollar for bun tik nun, which is noodles with grilled pork. Mm. And it's so tasty. And it's just served up right here in this hall. And I'm sitting beside like an old lady eating her noodles. And like hey, my boyfriend. That's so nice. Okay. <laughs> and it's just, it's great. Like, it's just so cheap. It's so delicious. Now food adventure continues. We just killed that. Let's check out what else this food hall have to offer. What do you think of the avocado mango mixture? Yeah? Really good. It still tastes avocado. But then what does the mango taste like with the avocado? It's just a good sweetener. Oh. I don't know. Mm, really good. Oh, yeah. So long. Yeah, no long. That's a sweet. Oh, this is good. We got some rice cream, which is spring rolls with shrimp. Oh, the jump, yeah. And then the fish sauce with cookie. So Yurun has been quite stoked about these spring rolls, so we just got another one. So what makes the galo so interesting is that the water that is used to make the noodle has to be drawn from an ancient well only in Hoi An. So that's how it came to be in Hoi An and it's an ancient well by the Cham people which is the ancient tribe in Hoi An. Okay, so these are sco dried squid and people are dried different dried fish and people usually eat it um, like you rip it apart and you eat it in like different shreds um, and it's for you eat it when you like drink alcohol or drink beer so it's like a selection of like food while you drink this beautiful little bridge is emblematic of Hoi An Vietnam a bridge was first constructed here by the Japanese community to link it with the Chinese quarters. Over the centuries, the ornamentation has remained relatively faithful to the original Japanese design. Look at this cute Facebook style. Menu. Wow, literally just realized that this menu at White Rose Restaurant only has two items on it. Like literally one, two. Two lemon juice? Oh, you yes, are we ordering? The White Rose Restaurant, the restaurant that we're in right now with this groovy Chinese design is actually a point and institution. So the meal that we're ordering right now, which is the White Rose Dumplings in Vietnamese is called the Ban Bao or Ban Bak, I believe it's called. It's invented 
inspired by this restaurant and it actually got so popular in Hoi An that's now a actual Hoi An dish itself and it's why this restaurant has only two dishes so the reason why these are called white rose dumplings because they're made to resemble flowers and they're made out of these translucent dough and stuffed with shrimps and pork This is egg coffee. So egg, you heard that right? It's actually made of egg to put into the coffee. And because during war times, condensed milk and milk in general is hard to come by, so they use egg. Interesting. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it really tasty? What does it taste like? It's so creamy. What a dessert. Ooh. This is a Hanoi specialty and it was originated from Hanoi as well. But now it's popularized in Vietnam. Oyan has an interesting history that can be traced back almost two millennia to the South Wind peoples before it served as an important port for the Champa Kingdom that extended over central and coastal Vietnam. The town grew in trade from there and by the 17th and 18th century it had already become one of the most important Southeast Asian trading ports, harboring foreign traders, especially Japanese, Chinese and Dutch, partaking in all sorts of trade such as silk, china, pottery and certain spices. Because of this, the port time became a major trading hub between Europe, China, India, and Japan, and goods were traded as far as to Sinai in Egypt. What fascinated me about being here is learning how Hoi An has nearly 1,000 ancient buildings of which 844 are written down on the UNESCO list for the historical value. Marveling at the mixed architectural style it's just blowing my mind for this architectural lover. The houses in the ancient town are tiled with wooden, traditionally carved components. They are arranged side by side in tight, unbroken rows and run along very narrow streets here. The streets are too narrow for cars and motorbikes, are only allowed in the ancient town during certain hours. Other than that, they're banned. There are a number of reasons why the color yellow is chosen color in Hoi An. This color symbolizes royalty and superiority in Korea, China, and Vietnam. In ancient architecture, red and wood-like color is preferred for some of the walls and pillars, but some Japanese temples and traditional Vietnamese shop fronts are painted in varying hues of yellow. This is a really cool artist space within a temple. Just wandering around. It's so peaceful in this temple compared to outside the gates itself because you can hear the honking outside. But here's like, you know, you can, look, there's hardly any sound. We're the only ones here. The what? It's a um, native. Oh, uh, like incense. Incense, yeah. Like all the way up to the top. I didn't know that. I saw these in Hong Kong too. Mm. In a temple there, but I, didn't, I thought they were just decor. This is touted as the best bunny place in Hoi An. Uh, Anthony Bourdain has been here, uh, of course, which made it really famous. Really eager to try out these bunnies and see what the hype is all about, as well as see how it compares to the bunnies I've had at home. So it looks hectic. Like there's an assembly line of people making the bunnies like, in their pack to the brim. Also observing the 
kind of like the skills and technique and the talent that requires to make a fun meme. Look at this. Oh, that fun Wow. Thank you. Come on. This looks so juicy. <laughs> real crunch, real crunch. I know that look. And the pork is just very, like, look at this. So juicy, very juicy. We got the avocado and oh you even got the banana he just finished in one sip. Hoi An is a place soaked in authenticity, culture, and this has just been the beginning of our time here. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Sending you lots of love from the central coast of Vietnam.